The days are getting shorter this week. The weather's getting a little chillier. Winter is coming and it can affect not just our physical health, but also our mental health. According to the American Psychiatric Association, 10 million Americans suffer from seasonal affective disorder or SAD, which is commonly found in the winter months. Here to tell us how to beat the winter blues is mental health counselor Lynn Rifkin. Shine, thanks for being here on the couch today. Sad, it sounds sad and it is kind it of is sad, sad that the weather can affect us like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's normal though, right? Well, there's a difference between just having winter blues, which a lot of us have, and we're saying, gosh, it's getting cold or the, it's getting dark out. But seasonal affective disorder is actually a mental health diagnosis where people start to feel depressed, more difficulty getting out of bed in the morning. Um, so it's actually not just normal. Some people just don't like it, mm -hmm. but um, seasonal affective disorder um, just happens to some people, and it's a pretty significant sadness. And is it being diagnosed at a higher rate recently? We seem to hear a little bit more about it now. You know, the higher north of the equator, south of the equator, so we hear it a lot around Buffalo, New York, yeah. and we have um, we have many gray days which affects us. It's really the lack of sunlight. So even if we're in the winter months and there's sunshine, you're not as affected if you truly have seasonal affective disorder. It's not about the cold, it's not about driving in the bad weather, it's not about just not liking it. It's truly needing. I had a client once who, who talked about how when there was light coming through her window, she would find herself almost like a cat trying to find the light and going toward the light because she had such a significant seasonal affective disorder. So as a mental health counselor, what are some sure signs that someone just doesn't like the winter and is feeling blue or has seasonal affective disorder? I think that if there's a difference in their behavior, like um, it was easier for them to pop out of bed or, or get to work on time and, and they're really struggling to get up in the morning because their sleep cycle is off and with the dark darkness outside, they feel blue. They And what's interesting is it's not just a sadness, it's an agitation. A whole lot of people with um, seasonal affective disorder are cranky and moody and um, more agitated, difficulty with relationships, um, any of those kind of things. So, um, Who is it most common in? We okay. see it more in women than in men, but when men have it, it's more significant. It's, it's more difficult for men. So, um, but we're seeing it younger versus older. Mm -hmm. People who are seniors don't seem to have seasonal affective disorder as much as people who are younger. So um, our schedule just gets thrown off. And um, it's really important to have very good sleep habits during this time because um, your whole, it's, uh, our sleep cycle is based on a circadian rhythm, it's called. And so if we're sleeping beyond the time we're supposed to, our body just doesn't feel right. So people are oversleeping, they're overeating. I always say it's almost like hibernating, that you're cold or you're feeling blue and you're feeding it and almost storing it for the spring, I mean for the winter. So what can people do to beat this, to combat it? In terms of um, treatment, there's a bulb, a certain type of light that you can look online or talk to your doctor about to um, prescribe, it's actually a prescription to get a special kind of light box mm -hmm. that for some people it's on a timer that it wakes you up in the morning and it goes slowly and, and wakes you up so that it tricks your circadian rhythm into thinking that it's bright outside and that decreases the risk of um, seasonal affective disorder. So if you think you might have it, go see your doctor and they may Absolutely. prescribe this for and you. And they may prescribe medication if, if it's a significant depression that's going along with it or of course psychotherapy to talk about strategies to feel better. We also have some strategies um, that you don't need a prescription for, things like vitamin D, take advantage of the of sunlight while it is available. So it's something as easy as on a sunny day, just spend more time outside or by a window. You, and open the windows in your house. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of us sit in the dark and it's important to open the windows. Melatonin was one of those things that they talked about taking. And a very important thing for any type of mental health is exercise. So you, then you're boosting um, your natural endorphins and feeling better and less depressed. And as always, if you are feeling that you might have an issue, seek help sooner rather than Absolutely. later to get it taken yes. care of. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for being Thank here you. today. Important time to do this as we are losing those sunlight hours. Yes. So make the most of them. People you are can. feeling it. It makes you feel good mentally mm -hmm. and physically. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being here, Lynn. Thank we appreciate you. it. We're gonna take a